When we think of science, we often think of hard facts, measurable units, and microscopic cultures that develop over time. We think of researchers who zoom in on the tiniest elements to reveal the biggest secrets. But how do we study such a fuzzy thing as love? Evidence suggests that happier romantic relationships are associated with healthier lives. So, what are the features of everyday love that can explain why some relationships succeed and some dissolve? Witness couple 221, for example. A typical example of a dysfunctional conflict style. <laughs> Couples can now report their thoughts and feelings directly to the researchers back in the lab. How about couple 224? How are they doing? <laughs> An astonishing example of emotional support. And finally, let's have a look at sample 238. Scientists have identified this behavior as Netflix and chill. But is this new phenomenon healthy for a relationship? Just like that, we can collect colossal amounts of data on the daily emotional roller coasters of couples' romantic lives. Let's check in two years later with our samples. What about couple 221? The sock problem appears to have been resolved. Perhaps living in filth can be healthy after all. Let's return to sample 224. Having produced offspring, their happy equilibrium has been somewhat disrupted. And finally, how is sample 238 doing? Here we can see the potential long-term consequences of Netflix and chill when left untreated. As we can see, through detailed long-term observations, large quantities of data, and some meticulous and brain-melting analysis, we can extract measurable units of pretty much anything, including love. <laughs>